Landers got yourself going a little bit in overtime. What was it that, that kind of sparked that and, and got you on a roll there at the end? Um, well, we had a little one-on-one -on -one altercation, so that kind of just sparked my fire. And then from there, the rest is history. Who, who had the altercation? Yeah, me and Don. Yeah. Just a little friendly fire? Or? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, that's all I got to say about it. Was that in overtime or before overtime? Uh, it was like right before. That's really why I was so mad I missed that last shot of regulation. Dan, you're, you're not from Philly, but you're from close enough. Yeah. You mean a little something extra? I saw you give him a little look yeah, on one yeah, of the first sure. shots. Um, I know a couple guys on the team, and we, we talked before the season in the summer and stuff, seen them at events, and uh, we talked about this matchup. So it was good to get them back, for sure. Good team win for us. Landers, you guys have gone to Dave in some of those last second situations. It looked like they were all over him. What was the plan there at the end of regulation, and then what were you trying to get? No, that was for sure the plan. I mean, um, at the last game, how could you not go back to him in the same situation in the very next game? So for us, that was our plan, and it didn't go as planned, but still found a way to get the job done. What was it with the uh, free throws tonight? 28 out of 30, uh, yeah, any team that does that, that's a lot of free throws and a lot to make. Uh, I mean, it started at the top. Uh, Dave shot 100% from the field. Uh, I think Jeremiah did too, with nine for nine, like four for four. So when they're aggressive and getting downhill and making their free throws, I mean, I hope we don't lose. Last time you guys faced, it was 48 to 20, or 46 to 28 on the glass. This time it's 35 29. What seemed to be the, uh, the difference maker here tonight? We really uh, been working at that. Rebounding is our big thing, and uh, when we lead in rebounding, we usually rarely lose. So we really been working on the glass. It's a good rebounding team. Uh, Jalil White had 16 rebounds against us the first match up. So we focused on t keeping them off the glass and keeping them off the glass because they're a real hard working team. So we really executed that tonight. Dan, I felt like we could see your confidence growing in real time out there. Were you feeling the same way? Nah, for sure, yeah. Um, just staying humble and hungry. Uh, my teammates really boost, boost that for me and give me that confidence. And uh, got a coaching staff that really believes in us and believes in me. So having that on my back really helps helps me keep going every day. Where Where are you at now with your confidence in the perimeter shot? It looks like you're back on track. You've kind of gone up and down. It looks like you're back on track to having a lot of confidence when it comes out of your hand. Um, just taking the good ones, taking the uh, wide open good ones and not forcing things and just Staying in the gym and getting repetition on my shot, but most importantly, taking the real good ones and taking my time. That's really built my confidence up. Landers, you only have one, uh, one turnover tonight, had 12 in the past two games. Was there any kind of emphasis for you in your own head going into tonight, kind of taking care of the basketball? Oh, for sure. <clears throat> I probably only have three or less turnovers for the rest of the year, honestly. Um, that's my main goal. So if I can do that, I did something pretty good. Are you a guy that needs something like that? Like he challenged you with rebounds earlier in the year. You attacked it. Now maybe it's not turning the ball or taking care of the ball a little better. Does that kind of, you need kind of that little extra spark sometimes? Uh, in this situation, it was kind of different. I mean, the guys on the team trust me with the ball in my hand and so did the coaching staff. So it wasn't much emphasis on this, but as me, like being hard on myself, I already knew what it was. And it, that had never happened again. I'm not going to lie, that had never happened again. Landers, how important is it for you guys to win close games the last two times, especially given the fact you're trying to at least stay in the top four in the AAC? I feel like that's a, a major thing for us, like winning any game, really, whether it's close or a blowout. I just feel like from here on out, every game is like crucial for us, so we can't have no slip-ups. Dan, you had a five-point run there early in the first half. You hit three, then you come down, got a drive baseline, hit that acrobatic reverse layup. Walk us through what you saw in that play. Um, uh, we were running our play, and I got it. And it was just, uh, I seen a lot of space going down there. And uh, Odie did a real good seal for me to box out his man for me to get there. So I just took it to either get on the line or get a basket for the team. Dan, I think you had about 100 people at the last game that didn't go so well. Did you have some tonight? And if not, did, is your phone blowing up with text and stuff? Um, nah, my family definitely, family and friends supported me at the at, over there in Philly for sure, and that uh, I love that. Um, nah, there's no one that uh, was here today, but um, I focus better when I don't have a lot of family and people like that at the game. So 
I was good. I was able to lock in, and uh, we we got the job done. And it was good. You get Dick back ten points, three of five from the floor. How important is he just to the overall like confidence and, and momentum of this team? I mean, <clears throat> y'all know how I feel about him, but once he get back on his feet, <clears throat> he's gonna be back to one of the best bigs in the country. It's probably one of his. It's, it's not even a bad game for him. I mean, he's just trying to get back under himself. So coming off an injury, I love how he looked, how he was aggressive, wasn't complaining, just was there for us. Even when he fouled out, he still was there for us, and that's a big part for us. Landry, it seemed like you made up your mind over time you were going to go to the, the mid-range. Was, was that a conscious decision by you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, we got into a one-on-one -on -one battle. So me being me and knowing like what I'm capable of and my teammates honestly like just was supporting me, especially after I hit the first one. So I just feel like after missing the one in regulation to finish it, I couldn't let him down the overtime too. Landers, how difficult is it of a cover is a guy like Damian Dunn when it seemed like you were playing pretty tight defense, especially later on in the second half, but he was just <clears throat> cooking. Yeah, he's a good caliber player. Had a, a great outstanding game. I mean, he was in some tough shots though. And when players have nights like those, you just Got to hope he missed, and in the crucial point, I feel like I got some key stops and helped our team ultimately win the game. Coach put you on him with about 10 minutes left, and you held him at 23 for you know seven, eight minutes. Take a lot of pride in being able to be the guy that you can you know, get put on a guy and shut him down. Oh, for sure. I feel like that's my emphasis every game, guarding either the best guard on the wing or the second best guard, David, don't got him. So for us, <clears throat> that's that's what I look forward to every night. I always want to guard one of the top guys on the scout report because like I know that I'm that on their scout report, so I'm gonna do the same for them. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all.